This $15 microphone is amazing. I've been using it for years and I still carry it around with me everywhere. As you can imagine, I get access to a ton of gear, including some really expensive microphones, but this microphone is still one that gets used pretty regularly. It's even been used to film a ton of the videos on our YouTube channel, and this is the only microphone that most people are gonna need to set up their YouTube channel. So let's take a look at what makes this microphone so great. So first off, this is a wired lapel or lavalier microphone. You can see I've just got clipped to my T-shirt shirt here. Normally I have it hidden underneath and if you want to find out how to do that there's a video up in the cards but it's not a wireless microphone which means that there is a cable that's going to directly plug into your camera, your phone, your computer. Yes this microphone works with a lot of devices out there because it supports both TRS and a TRRS connection. Now if you do want to use it on a newer phone that doesn't have that headphone jack plug you will need to use either the lightning or the USB-C adapter to get that connected but yeah this microphone works with pretty much anything. Now there's actually a couple of different versions of this microphone. This one, the Boya BYM1, is kind of the original, the single microphone, but they also have a dual lapel version as well. So if you're gonna be running an interview with someone, it'll actually have two microphones that come off so that you can have one and they can have one, and both of them join back together to connect to your phone or to your camera with one microphone plug. There's also smartphone versions of this microphone as well now with a lightning connector or a USB. USB-C as well. So you've got options if you're going to be using it for just one specific device or one specific use case. Now it's also got a crazy long cable. So if you are creating videos where you are going to be moving around a bit or you need to be quite a distance away from your phone or from your camera, then this microphone can still tick that box. And when I say it's a big cable, this thing is like six meters long or close to 20 foot. Now this is something that I thought that would really just get in the way for creating the types of videos that I do. I'm literally almost an arm's length away from the camera. So I don't need a cable that long. So if you're still creating videos like this, you can just bunch the cable up, put it in your pocket, and it's not going to bother you. But it is still going to give you that flexibility if you do decide that you've got to get up and go and get a drink or film further away from your camera, you do have that flexibility. But on the flip side, there's a lot of microphones out there where the cables are too short and they're really not usable if you're gonna have a setup like this. So yeah, I actually like that it has that ridiculously long cable. So in the box, you get the microphone, you get a microphone clip, which is what I'm using here now. You also get a quarter inch TRS to 3.5 millimeter adapter. There's also a carrying pouch and a battery because yes, this microphone does require a battery when you're connecting it up to a camera or something with a TRS connection. If you're just going to be using it with a smartphone or something with a TRRS connection, which a lot of computers have these days as well, then you actually won't need to even have a battery in there to have this microphone work. So then to turn the microphone on and off, there is a switch on it, which clearly says on for camera and off for smartphone. Now with the battery life, I read online that this thing will last anywhere from 400 hours to a lot of people saying 600 to 800 hours with that battery. But in my own experience, I've left this microphone on accidentally quite a few times and I've come back to use it and the microphone has gone flat. Or one time I was filming, it was fine at the start and it went flat halfway through filming making the video useless. So this is something though that I'd say is the, probably the biggest downside or the biggest thing to be aware of with this is that there is no battery level indicator. Yes, these batteries are ridiculously cheap, so go and grab a few of them and just carry them with you and swap them out every now and then. But also you can keep monitoring your audio as well just to make sure that it is working. But it's got to the point for me now where I'll just swap out the battery. If I'm gonna be doing a solid day of filming and I'm gonna be using this microphone, I'll just put a new battery in so that it's not gonna be a problem. But when I don't forget to turn the microphone off, yeah, the battery lasts a long time. So a battery level indicator would be awesome on this. The other thing I think that this microphone would be awesome if it had, again, it's not a deal breaker, but a volume control knob so that you could turn the microphone up and down. Now this really hasn't been an issue for most of the cameras or devices that I've plugged this microphone into. The volume level has been great. I really haven't had to make too many adjustments. And a lot of cameras or computers and things these days, you can control the volume if the audio is coming in too loud. But the stock camera app on iOS and Android they don't have volume control. And what I have found on a couple of different Android devices only is that the audio comes in too loud on some of them. And again, this is it's a strange one because it's not all Android devices, but I have seen the audio come in too loud and that the audio is just distorting. But this is where if you are gonna be filming on your phone, you can use an app like Filmic Pro, whether it's iOS or Android, that's gonna give you further control over your camera, your settings,
settings and your volume control too. So that if you do find that you are using a microphone that is coming in too hot or too loud, then you can just turn it down a little bit. But that's something that you can't do in most of the stock or built-in camera apps. But in terms of the audio quality, I mean, you're listening to this microphone right now. There's nothing else done. There's no post-processing or anything like that done. This is literally microphone direct to camera. And there's even a little bit of background noise with people talking and moving around outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this microphone and you can hear what it sounds like in contrast to the Panasonic GH5 that I'm recording with. Okay, so this really isn't a fair comparison. You normally wouldn't be using just the built-in microphone in your camera, but you can see how much of a difference just even that $15 microphone makes it's so much of an improvement. And this is what the microphone on my MacBook Pro 2021 16 inch sounds like. And this is with the Boya BYM1 microphone connected. One, two, one, two. So this is what it sounds like on an iPhone 12 Pro. One, two, one, two, one, two. And now this is the iPhone 12 Pro without the Boya microphone connected. One, two, one, two. Now, if you're gonna be filming outside or in windy conditions, you definitely wanna have the little microphone cover on to try and take some of that wind noise out. But the best way that I've found with this microphone and most other lapel or lavalier microphones to remove wind noise is actually to tape it under your shirt or jacket. And again, the video is linked up in the cards. Definitely suggest checking it out. So overall, I'm a massive fan of this microphone. It's something that we've mentioned a lot on this channel for years. This isn't the latest and greatest stuff. This microphone has been around for a long time. But really, if you're looking at the complete package of price and bang for buck, really nothing else comes close. Is this the best sounding microphone out there? No, not by a long shot. There are far better options if you're someone who is looking for something really crisp, really clean, and you know, pro-grade microphones. Definitely lots of other options for that. But is this something that you can just bunch up, put in your backpack and carry with you in case you've got to do a quick Instagram live, create some stories, create a vlog on the go? This microphone is a massive step up from what you're gonna get with any of your built-in microphones. And that's why I carry it with me for content on the go. If I'm doing a quick Instagram live, I wanna get some quick shots to use in our YouTube videos or for any other content, I'm using this microphone because I've got it with me and because it's much better than what's included in our phones or cameras. And it's gonna get you much better audio, which means you've got better quality content that people will stick around longer watching. Now, if you wanna see how this microphone stacks up against more expensive options and also my recommendations for best microphones for creating YouTube videos, check out the video that's linked on screen and I will see you in the next one.